hi guys i am back with my new youtube video for this week so of course everybody knows that today is valentine's day hence why we have on red and i wanted to introduce everybody to my husband gene say hi hey what's up what's up what's up <laughs> So, um, this is my husband, G. We have been married for approximately three years. Yep, about three years. Three years too long. And I'm just kidding. I love you. So, we've been married for three years. Um, we got married in January of 2017. And today, we are going to tell the fascinating story about why we met in honor of valentine's day don't you just love this story um i've told countless of people <laughs> multiple times of this story and it's it's at this point it's just repetitive but well it doesn't matter we're gonna continue but nobody it knows on youtube a valentine's lot of people don't know day, so whatever <sighs> whatever anyway so i'll start with like how we got to meeting before we get into the actual story so basically he is from Northern Virginia, which is known as like the DC area or whatever. DC. And he came down to where I'm from to go to school. So when he did that, he transferred from his um, his previous job of Olive Garden, where he was living, and he transferred to the one that was for his college. So that's where we met. So I was 20. And very impressionable because I never had a job before. Impressionable? What are you talking about? Impressionable. <laughs> I'm t I was 20. Meaning, I mean? never had a job before. That was my very first job. Okay, side note. Yeah, when I deer in the headlights messing up orders. Yeah, right? well, okay, all right, whatever. We're not going to talk about... <laughs> we're not here to talk about my work-life experience. We're here to talk about how we met. Terrible worker. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, that's not true, but anyway. So once we, so once I came into working at Olive Garden, this was my very first job. I never worked before. I applied everywhere. They were the only dummies to hire me. So, I mean, I guess it was God who wanted us to meet. Cause yep. yeah. So I came in and I was so excited to meet everybody. So I was walking up to all of the servers, hosts, cooks, like literally everybody in the entire restaurant. And I was introducing myself. So I'll basically walk up to them and I'll be like, hi, my name is Tiffany. What's your name? Like, I'm just one of all the friends. And hence, in the back of my mind, I had already told myself, Tiffany, you're not going to date anybody at this job. You're just going to come here. You're going to work and you're going to go home, right? Clearly, that didn't happen because I ended up with a whole husband and two kids. But anyway, neither here nor there. I was walking up to Jean. He was a server. I was a host. I walked up to Gene while he was getting dressed in the back. And he was putting on his apron and getting his little stuff together to take his little orders. And I walked up behind him and I said, hi, my name is Tiffany. What's right, your name? Right. And I'm like, uh, who is a stranger touching my face? But, uh, I was like, no, hey. that wasn't the time I touched her face. I just came up to you and I said hi. Oh, the second my bad, my time bad. The was second a, time. yeah. The second time, you're right, you're right. So the first time I just came up to him and I said hi, like I said with everybody, hi, my name is Tiffany. What is your name? And then you said, hey, and walked off. <laughs> he walked off. Man, I wasn't really interested at the time. I had a lot other things going. Mind you, I wasn't interested in him, him either. I was literally walking around the restaurant saying that to every single worker I saw. You were just too friendly. You know I don't like to talk. This is even a little uncomfortable for me. I, I don't like to talk. It so doesn't matter. That's just, I'm, I mean, people call me Doug Moody, uh, all these other things. But at the end of the day, I mean, I'm just to myself. I have my own little clique. Um, I'm very, you know, like I said, to myself. So... When you came out of the blue, I was I was very taken back because not a lot of people do that. I only talked to a select few, That's and true. you were not one of them at the time. Clearly. So. Anyways, continue. Mind you, I wasn't trying to be one of them. I just was being friendly, like, "Hi, how are you?" You, you? Know, you, were, you were trying to be one. No, of No, I was not. You were you were trying to honestly. I mean, you, you wanted all this. It's okay. 
Is- honestly, guys, like, mm-hmm. honestly, I'm not even playing. I did not want Gene. I did not want to get with him. I didn't want anything from him other than for him to say, hi, my name is Gene. <laughs> and, and then we could have just had a friend relationship. I wasn't even thinking about that. I was literally just being friendly. But like he said, maybe I was a little too friendly because ever since I've been working at other places, I see that people don't really do what I did. So right. I guess it was out of the ordinary for Odd. people just walking up to you, right. introducing themselves. So I understand. I understand. But like I said, I was excited. So so from there, after he said, hey, and like walked away and dusted me off like I was just some type of flat on the wall or something. Like, I dust you off. I just said hello. I had I, It was my, the start of my shift. Okay, but you wasn't warming and like you wasn't. Warm and fuzzy. That's what you wanted. <laughs> no, warm you just fuzzy. wasn't like. Warm and fuzzy, Jean. You didn't give me what I needed. Like everybody else, even though it was out of the ordinary for me to come up to them. They still like greeted me because appropriately. They you, were, you, were, you were cute, and they wanted. I, I mean, I, look. They greeted me appropriately, and you just didn't. So it bothered me that I got this dry response from him. So it kind of bothered me. So when I went home that day, I remember calling up one of my friends, and I was like, "Man, I introduced myself to everybody at work today, and it was this one guy. Like, he just really wasn't messing with me." And I'm like, I don't know if I did something wrong to him or he's just me, but I'm just going to figure out what his vibe is. So mind you, Gene only worked like on the weekends, right? Yeah. At the time I was in school, so I only worked the weekends, um, pretty much Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So Yeah. So like I had to Maybe wait a, Thursday. a whole week to see him again. Yeah. So it was <laughs> the ant- uh, anticipation was, uh, you know. Stirring up, you were thinking I'm tell about you, me. No, all no, no, week. no, 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 no. Come to find out, he was thinking about me. But well, we're gonna get to that later. So, I came to work that very next weekend shift, and he was there again. So I'm like, hmm, here he is again. Let me try to introduce myself again. But I added a little more sauce on it this time. So I came up to him and I put my hand on his eyes like this, and then I said, "Guess who it is." And what did you say? I turned around and looked at you. I didn't even say, I don't think I even said anything at that point. I just turned around and looked at you. <laughs> it was pretty much in my head, like, who is this? You know what? Touch my face. But, you know, it's okay. <laughs> I, don't, say... I don't like people touching me. If I don't know you, don't, <laughs> don't touch me. You can say hello, like, but I mean, it's got to be a mutual thing for you to start touching me. <laughs> okay, but I was excited and I really wanted I know, to. It was your first I wanted job, to babe. get. It was your first job. I wanted I to get a response out of him. I know because you were interested. Whether it was negative or positive, I was gonna get. You, a you were testing the waters at that point. And I was not testing the waters at that point. I was really trying to figure out what's wrong with you. I thought you were evil. Like I was trying to break your barrier. Like, I was going to come in regardless. <laughs> That's yeah, how I looked at it. you tend to do that to a lot of people. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, so literally he, like, turned around and looked at me like I was half crazy for touching him. And then he was just like, oh, hey, like, all right, whatever. And walked away again. Didn't say nothing. Like, didn't say, oh, how was your week? How was your, your weekend? How's your shift going? Nothing. He didn't, he didn't care about me, y'all. Zero. He didn't care about me, y'all. I, and it's not like I didn't care. I just, I wasn't, I mean, I got you, right? Okay. <laughs> so this is where it gets tricky because I see him the very next day. So at this point, I'm on the phone. I go back home again from my friend. I'm on the phone talking to her again, yelling about what he did. So I'm like, oh no, this Negro it's going to turn around and not say nothing to me and act like I wasn't there and just pay me dust again. I'm like, oh no, I'm going to make him talk to me at this point. Like I'm going to get through to you. That was my mission at Olive Garden. Instead of doing my work like I should have been doing, my mission was to break Jean's barrier. And I and I meant I was going to do that. Yeah, you were worried about <laughs> that, but suffering in school. Yeah. Uh, like how he makes up these lies anyway so from there the very next day i come into work he comes in and he literally walks up to me puts his number on a piece of paper 
No, no, no. I slid a piece of paper. You were closing me out. My It was the end of my shift. Oh, it was the end? Yeah. Okay. And um, I slid a paper, piece of paper, and I was like, hey, write, write down your number, you know. Oh, you told me to write it down. Okay, yeah. yeah. Guess what you did? <laughs> 804, boop, 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 boop. My dumb self wrote my number down. Yeah, you did, because you, you were interested, baby. <laughs> it's okay. I love you. Why would I write my number down for somebody that paid me all that dust? Two, day, two days before, like... Uh, you told me. I mean, you wrote it, not me. It was destined to be. I don't know what I was thinking, but I wrote my number down just because I was curious of where things might go. Even though I told myself I wasn't going to be in a relationship, I wasn't going to date, I wasn't going to do anything. Failed. <sighs> yeah, failed. Literally, the first job I ever had, I got a boyfriend. Whatever. Anyway, so literally, it took this fool a week, y'all. One whole week i know my friends were so annoyed with me because i kept calling him about you i kept complaining i was like this i'm so sick of him i'm done with him y'all if he don't call me after this week i'm not talking to him ever again i'm not gonna say hi the to him the thing is is we didn't even have a, like a real conversation <laughs> so why were you getting even upset i was so mad because like, i was do your thing at that point <laughs> like we're not together like it's... we're not nothing so what are you tripping about you... i wasn't tripping it's... it sounds like you were tripping <laughs> I wasn't it sounds tripping. like you were concerned about my well-being i wasn't concerned about and your you barely well-being knew me. I wasn't concerned. I know that sounds crazy, but I was not concerned about like what he was doing. I knew we wasn't together yet, but I just wanted you to use the number that I gave you. I didn't give you my number for no reason. I wanted you to call me. And you didn't for a whole week. Because I had to keep you guessing. You know what I'm saying? Like, keep turning those wheels inside your head. Clearly, you was about to make me mad. And the next time I seen you with Olive Garden, I probably would have punched him in the face had he not texted me. But he did. And he texted me and he said, hey, this is Gene from Olive Garden. Why you got to make it sound like that? Like a, some type of a loser. <laughs> no, I didn't say you were a loser. I'm just saying that's, that's the text message. And that's how I read it when it came through. And I was like, Ugh. hey. Nah, nah. I, don't remember, <laughs> I don't remember word for word, but at the end of the day, you texted me back. I did text you back. So, from there, he texted me. We were texting for, like, a couple days, and then we made the the plan to go to Applebee's for our first date. I know it wasn't too, you know, luxurious or anything. He couldn't take me to Sugar Factory or hey, oh, 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 oh. Cheesecake There's Factory no or factory any factory for that Virginia. matter. There's just no. There's no factory in Petersburg, Virginia. <laughs> so the best option you had was Applebee's. <laughs> no. And you ate it just good because this is what my wife likes all the time. Chicken fingers and french fries. So. I did not get chicken fingers. And at the time we went, it was happy hour. So I was like, mm, even better. <laughs> People, you know, they think you're cheap as hell right now. First date, take her to happy hour. No, nobody, no, I couldn't it get, for me. no, I couldn't get a sugar factory, a, a cheesecake factory. I couldn't get any factory nowhere. I couldn't get Ruth Chris. Where was Ruth the love? Chris. <laughs> Chris. Oh, first off, I was in college. So? You were going to get on, you were on an Applebee's, um, what's the word for it? Budget? Applebee's budget. That's what you were on. You were on an Applebee's budget. That's so trifling. Like, Ain't nothing wrong with that because guess what? You here now. And you got one kid, one in your belly. <laughs> uh seems like you have a happy life. I didn't say I didn't have a happy life. I'm just saying you could have took me somewhere a little better. Tiffany, than I'm taking you everywhere at this point now. Okay, yeah. Now that we're married, and we're no, 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 no. Don't, don't be like now that we're married. I <laughs> making it seem like I take you, I took you to all these places after we got married. No, that's not true. I didn't say that. You were begging to take you, uh, take you uh, to a cheesecake for your birthday. I was not begging y'all. That's just a whole nother story. But anyway, back to what I was going to tell y'all earlier. So this whole time when he was paying me dust, I thought he was going back home to his roommate and he was talking like, oh yeah, I met this cute girl. I'm really into her. I can't wait to see her again. And blah, blah, blah. Like he was talking all this trash, y'all. But in front of me, he was playing it off. So what, what type of game was that? You were running game on me and I didn't even know? Pretty much. And, and, and it worked. Uh, <laughs> it you worked. Know, more of a uh, standoffish approach. 
hand off approach. Um, <laughs> okay. So. You know that could have backfired, right? It could have, but at the end of the day, I had I had a backup plan. You sure did? You had many. With or without you? You had many backup plans. So, I mean, I, I was not going to be hurt if that didn't know it work out. Well, I'm happy to know that. A real gin. I'm happy to know that when he was, that I thought he was paying me dust, he actually was interested and he was just acting like that because it really hurt my feelings, y'all. You'll be okay, baby. Whatever. Anyway, so that will conclude our How We Met story and a little bit of our first date. So I want to say happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Have a great Friday. Peace. Where are you taking me? Somewhere. It better, Apple, it better Apple not be Applebee's. 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 Applebee's budget. We always on no, that. No, right? we're not. You like that. No, I want to go to Roof Chris. No, I want to go to Roof Chris. Don't. Cheesecake Factory? No, <laughs> we're going to Roof Chris, y'all. I don't know. You want to take me somewhere nice. What, you can get me a, ba- a bear and some flowers and stuff? You'll be all right. Yeah, you can get some of that. You got a massage. I, I discovered her massage on Saturday. I'm going to be watching Aria, my daughter, while she goes do that for an hour. And then after that, I'm going to do something for me. <laughs> Whatever, bye. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.